Marlborough's New Zealand's largest wine region. Dog Point was uh, started in, in 1979. So for Marlborough, we had probably some of the oldest vines in the valley. How we grow grapes and make wine here at Dog Point is really the culmination of a lot of experience from both Ivan and myself. James and I have a simple philosophy. The objective is to make reasonably distinctive wines that have a point of difference. We've deconstructed a lot of what we have done and we've tried to simplify everything down to what we consider to be the essential points to make quality wine. One of the big things we do for the quality of the wine, quality of the vine, is our canopy work and pruning. All the Pinot Noir and Chardonnay we grow for Dog Point has been run on two canes with a lot of shoot thinning and very, very little leaf plucking, which gives a nice thin canopy and quite disease resistant. The vineyard is run under an organic regime. We've always prided ourselves on employing environmentally friendly practices. During the winter we run uh, sheep and they do an absolutely fantastic job of cleaning up the grass, cleaning up the weeds. Other environmental practices, we make our own compost here. It builds up the organic matter which is great for the soil microorganisms. Undervine weeding instead of herbicides uh, have greatly improved the quality of the vines, therefore quality of the wine and quality of the soil and anything we can do for the soil is great for the plant. But also another key component is the low cropping and the hand picking. Some people think we're mad to hand picking uh, Marlborough Sauvignon Blanc, but we believe it gives an element of finesse and then also an element of delicacy to the wine and the wine retains freshness for longer. Marlborough does, however, have a very benign climate aspects like the diurnal temperature that we experience here, the maritime climate we have. But it does mean that we have long extended autumns and long extended harvest periods. That is why we get such intense flavours in our fruit. And a lot of what we do is just handling that so that the intensity of the fruit isn't the only thing that makes up our wine, but it's the structure of the wine that is, is equally important. The aim behind what we're doing is to capture the flavour of the vineyard and put that in the bottle. We don't find the wines to um, modify their flavours or to remove unwanted aspects of the wine. We try and press the grapes right at the first stage and really that comes right back to fruit quality. Once the grapes are harvested, it's all about preserving the flavours that we've created in the vineyard and being a tight-knit team, all focused on quality, we just leave it up to the winemakers to express the vineyard the way it should be expressed. With our winemaking, we often describe it as new world technology and old world philosophy. It's minimalistic handling of the wines. We're just focusing on four wines, three varieties, two different styles of Sauvignon Blanc, one tank fermented, the more, more aligned with the generic style out of Marlborough. The Section 94, which is the other style of Sauvignon we make, is, is at the opposite end of the spectrum in terms of production in the winery. We press it straight to old barrels. It undergoes a natural ferment. It undergoes an uninoculated ferment. We don't do anything to protect the freshness of the fruit. The wine is all about texture. It's all about evolution of flavour within the barrel. The Chardonnay, we only uh, revolve the press two or three times, and it's just a gentle squeeze. We're not looking for any sort of skin phenolic contact in the wine. We're very particular how we press our fruit. We're looking for purity of juice. Like with section 94, we don't inoculate, it's all indigenous ferment, and it spends 18 months in barrel, 15% new oak. The Pinot Noir, all the fruit is picked, it goes to a chiller overnight. Uh, we chill it down to about six degrees over the sorting table the next morning. So we get a nice cold soak for uh, five or six days before the fermentation starts. The style we make is uh, very red fruited, very raspberry, red cherry, very spicy, lengthy floral characters on the palate. But behind the burst of fruit that you might get from a Marlborough wine, 
there's a huge amount of complexity and layers of flavour and structure in the wine that's so important. We believe a small artisan producer approach is, is the way to go, the attention to detail. We've got the gardener and the accountant that have come in to help us at vintage time. My daughter Anna has come on board now at harvest time, but a small team, focused, attention to detail, that's what we believe is, is needed to, to, to make good wine. With the label dog point, we've always tried to keep a natural synergy with the landscape. The logo on our label is the cabbage tree. This is a native, iconic New Zealand tree. And this little tree is dotted right across the Dog Point landscape. So here at Dog Point we've embarked upon a large native replanting program. The diversity in the vineyard, vines, trees, lakes, rivers, with scenery like this and a variety of work, it's just such a lovely place to work. Where we've wound up now really I think is probably the uh, the ultimate place to wind up if you're a wine producer, where you're actually doing everything yourself. And um, yeah, that's where we are now, and it's fantastic.